this thing is ugly and that's fine i want it to be ugly i don't want it to be pretty yet i will make this thing pretty later this is gonna really gonna be a fun project now after i learn how to drive it nice then i'll make it pretty you know i know how to make a car pretty so and maybe in a year or so i think it'd be really pretty but for now woo, stinky <laughs> What's going on guys welcome to another video the day has finally come this car is finally painted and now we actually get to put it back together and kind of make it cool so now we get to put some style into this car i knew this day would come so i have some parts in the garage that i've had for months and we can finally do it so let me go ahead and start off with the disclaimer um this is my car you're probably not going to like all these mods i'm not even sure i like all these mods but the theme of this car is hot boy drift car and i kind of want to make it a hot boy drift car so um Let's go ahead and start putting on some stuff. Um, start off with some simple stuff and then, yeah, we'll just see where this thing goes when we get to the end of it. The last one, I'm not sure. It will be the last thing I do, but let's stay tuned. It could be, it could, it could look good or it might not look good. And it may be too late to go back if I start it. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's start off with the easy stuff. So first off, this thing clearly needs side moldings. <laughs> So I got some side moldings off eBay. I will try to link most of the stuff if I can, but these were off eBay. Hopefully they fit right and they actually do not have clips. They are stick on. So everything has double-sided tape as you can see. And you pull the double-sided tape off and just stick it on there. And it's way better than dealing with clips. And also with these, I decided to go with the old school style you know non-m moldings because i think they're a little bit more sturdy and they don't really i mean we'll see how these work because they are from ebay but the other flat m3 ones are kind of annoying sometimes they pop off a lot like even this like they still have a little bit of gap and they close and then they kind of pop off again and it's really annoying so when it comes to like the old school ones yes i still need to work on this car they sit flush and they do not move. So these are super crispy, super thick. And hopefully um, the ones I had on there were like that, but you know, I knocked one off from hitting another car or a barrier or something. But so hopefully when I put these things on there, they'll be still super sturdy and hopefully they stick right. They should, double-sided tape is, you know, works, but we'll see if it comes off, it comes off. I got them all lined up now, and they look like they line up pretty good. I'll show you guys real quick. This is the big piece. It seems like it matches pretty spot on. Again, this is for sedan. You know, coupe is different. So I think they sell coupe ones also, but I definitely double checked the listing. Yeah, that line is spot on. I don't know if you guys see it on camera, but it looks good. We're definitely gonna, and this one fits right in that slot. Bam, right there. That's perfect. So all we're gonna do is pull the double side tape off and just stick it on there. So let me wipe it off because it's a little wet because it's raining today. And we'll get the sticky. I'm also gonna hit the tape with a heat gun first. So um I'm gonna need this extension, my boy. Here's my partner right here, you know what I'm saying? That, that's 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 me waiting on y'all to buy some more merch. Available right now. Quick plug. Alright, yeah. And also, this is my BMW pumpkin I made. It looked cool. It looks cool at night, but in the daytime, you can see it's falling apart. Because um, I tried to cut the circle around, and then it just fell out. So, yeah, I'm not good at carving pumpkins, but I did make that from scratch. No stencil, boy. Just me. Ow, fuck. Of course, I drop it. Luckily, it landed face down. Line it up best I can. Shit. And we're pressed. Cool. That's easy. Let's do the bigger parts. I do have to rip these off. These are the old clips that I thought I was going to use again and decided not to. Perfect. 
perfect. It's pretty sturdy, you know? That's a whole lot easier than trying to use clips. It's looking like a regular car already. That's dope, that's so easy to install. Now the other side is gonna be a little tricky. All right, now this side is gonna be a little tricky because uh, one of the events, I slapped the shit out of some barriers or something and this thing is heavily dented. When it was matte black, I didn't think the dent was that huge. I guess it kind of blended in, but now that it's painted, that's like the first thing I notice when I look on the side of the car. <laughs> it's really bad and there's no way in its current state, this is going to mount because there is a huge gap right there. I could stick my finger in this gap. <laughs> so, um, it does have a little bit of flexibility, but I think I'm gonna take this door panel out and kick it from the inside and kind of flatten it out first. Also, the ribbon on this side skirt popped off, so I'll probably put some tape right there. It just needs to hold at the top. The rest of it holds, but right there at the top is where it slides off. Broke half my clips. Saw that coming. Now you can see without the door panel on, I have direct access to the door. There's the dent right there. I should be able to just kick that out. So I'm gonna close the door, get inside and kick it. First, I'm gonna try to heat up the paint because it most likely will chip because um, it was painted like this. And if it pushes out, it may not flex that much. So try to treat it like some, um, some fender rolling and try to put some heat on it first before I kick it. How hard did I hit that barrier? <laughs> Well, this is not going as planned. I'm trying to get this curl out, and I think hitting it on the inside too hard actually made it curl out some. So um, I'm trying to get this curl out so it'd be kind of as flat as possibly can. I know I can't get that out because that is actually wrapped around the bar. I don't know if you guys know this, but E36 doors actually have bars on the inside of the doors so they don't get crushed in completely. So um, that's where a lot of the dip is. It got wrapped around the bar. And I'm definitely not getting that out. I am not a body guy, obviously. Maybe, a, I don't know if a PDR guy could get that out. That's pretty tough. But anyway, so I think I'm going to try to hammer that back in just a tad. Try to make it closer to flat. And I don't know. I guess we'll try to put it on there. So if it doesn't look good, then I'll pull it back off. And again, it's double-sided tape. It's not clips. So these are made flat. So they don't have the clips. So that's how these were made. It's not even close. <laughs> it's not even close. Come on. Just stick somewhere on there. It'll blend in a little bit. <laughs> it looks so bad. It actually stands out more now. Whatever, it's on there. Definitely needs a little bit of trim restore and I'm still missing this piece. I forgot I was missing that piece, otherwise I would have found it by now. Uh, so, need another corner piece. But I got trim on, as you know, best I can. <laughs> And it's actually starting to look like a regular E36 now. Now I gotta address one more thing. We'll talk about it in a second. 
just want to get you a quick little look around now you got black trim on the side black trim on the rear except for the missing piece the front there is no trim right because this is all one piece so i had to do the whole bumper release thing so we're actually going to take this bumper off i'm going to spray this black so it looks like that now i'll start that process in a second but i want to do one thing um really start on the hot boy mods where um it's going to be questionable um but i don't know it might look good so let me grab what i'm talking about so this is an intake headlight it's an intake you can kind of see me through there so i'm going to put this on kind of like a headlight delete i don't know if you guys have seen those before but this one actually has a headlight in it so I um, actually got this from eBay, so I think it was $160 maybe, I can't remember. Headlight delete panel was already $140, so an extra $20 bucks and got a headlight, and it kind of looks different than usual, so it might look good, it might not. I test fitted it, I thought it looked cool at first, and then I didn't like it, and I did like it, but I um, made some adjustments, and I haven't tried it again since. So first of all, this thing comes in flat black, I actually sprayed it gloss black to make it look a little bit more newer. Because it is everything is 3d printed the brackets are 3d printed and you put the brackets on there with nuts and bolts and you, they come with nuts and bolts but i think one of them yeah this one in the corner was a little too short the one they sent you so i used my own nut and bolt there but super simple and they should fit right in all right so this is like the you know the oem headlight and you see they got these adjusters and the screws i don't know where my screws are uh, i think my painter has my screws because i didn't see them in the car so uh, I don't have any screws today, so we're just kind of putting it in place. We're not driving this car today. Battery's super dead. I had to jump it the last two times. I really need to charge it. So we're just going to line this up best as we can. And like I said, it matches up with the holes after you put the brackets on there. So it's kind of a perfect fit. So really great. And then we're just going to close the hood. So let it sit in place and close the hood so you can at least see what it looked like and it has a bracket for corner light too let's put a corner light in there first because i want to see what it looks like as if it's mounted and speaking of corner light i have brand new corner lights because that one's faded and the other one's cracked and i have brand new grills because those grills have been falling off forever and they were zip tied at one point so got these from ebay got those from amazon i don't remember it's all cheap stuff but new so it'll look it'll look good especially with the car looking brand new painted I want everything else to look new, so I'm trying not to put super old stuff on here. Go ahead and get these old, crusty, half working things out. Oh, now you want to stay. Now you want to stay. I had it zip tied during events, and now it wants to stay. Give me that thing. So these are the same ones I bought for Ebony. They're double slatted and they kind of look newer, but it's OBD1 style because it's OBD1 car. And they should slide right in place. Bam, snapped in place. I'll still sew some zip ties on there just in case. Like for today. Look at that. All glossy, boy. I got some new stuff, boy. Slide that bad boy in there. Also, a trick. Um, let me show you this real quick. Let me show you a quick trick I learned about eBay um, kidney grills. Of course, the mold isn't exact like OEM, so they don't always fit perfect, but sometimes they'll rattle around. This one's not rattling around, but if, if you do have a rattling around problem, you actually take your finger and take these little brackets and bend them outwards a little bit so it makes a tighter grasp. And then they'll snap right into place, kind of like OEM. So this should now fit damn near perfect it's gonna be hard to get them in there but you hear them actually clicking in place oh look at that that's pretty good i'm wiggling the nose panel more than the grill so there you go so you can use ebay ones it's just um yeah now as far as this headlight thing um this little bracket that actually connects to the corner light is actually way further out than oem so it snaps in a little bit harder i test fitted it earlier when i first got them and they snap in place pretty good so that should be connected now let's line you up as best as i can 
And there you go. So if that's in, we'll worry about the other corner light later. Let's get you out of the way. So let's close the hood and see what it looks like. Let's stand back. And that is super hot boyish. <laughs> that is super hot boyish. Like I said, it looks it looks evil. It looks mean. That's what I kind of like about it. Like I said, it's kind of it. It is ricey. I'm not gonna lie. It is ricey, but again, it's kind of the theme of this thing. It does look way better gloss black. I had it flat black before. It does look better after spraying it gloss black. But that's pretty cool. And I think wiring it up should be pretty easy. I think because um, it just has two wires on it, or no, I don't know. Let me see. Okay, so it has a few wires because it does have like an angel eye. So I guess you wire up the angel eye and then you can wire up the actual projector. And if you look inside the projector, I can see there's a red wire on that side, a white wire on that side. So it's like hot and hot and ground. And I can just probably take my OEM connector for my regular headlight bulb and probably just snip that and just swap those. I don't know, but I'll try that later. I'm not doing it right now, but as far as looks, I actually do like the look of it now. It's it grew on me. Like I said, at first it was a little, a little funny looking, but I don't know. It kind of works now. So let's go ahead and uh, let's take his bumper off. Start prepping that for paint. You guys already know how easy it is to take his bumper off, right? You already know that, right? All right, I'm gonna start taping this bumper up. I'm basically gonna keep everything taped except for this, like I said, like a fake bumper strip. So um, this is gonna be black. I'm actually gonna spray it Plasti Dip. Now I know Plasti Dip is like a bad word, sounds ghetto, um, but hear me out. Side moldings, rear moldings, they're all rubber. Plasti Dip has a rubber look to it, so I want it to look rubber. And that way, if I don't like it, I can peel it off. But anyway, so we're gonna play, spray that rubber plasti dip and it should look good also when i was getting the car painted i showed you guys that one of the buttons actually broke because these were the cheap knockoff ones i got all four for 17 bucks and i wanted to see how they would work and one broke just on my first drive so i'm definitely not going to keep them so i actually got some name brand ones the same exact size so they just literally already did all the hard work i just take this part off and just screw it into there and you know and they're red so they kind of match the bumper that's kind of cool and the reason i got the red ones because they're actually on sale so these i think were 25 each not 17 for all four and the black ones were 40 so i just got the red ones and i think they look cool so we'll throw those on there too all right and one spongebob meme later this thing is finally taped up and ready to go did everything with one trash bag um, I have three 36s, so I'm used to working with trash bags, so let's get this thing painted up. All right. I have not used Plasti Dips since like 2010. Uh, 30 minutes between coats. 30 minutes between coats. I'm going to have to do like three or four because um, the thicker the Plasti Dip is, the easier it is to peel off. So, um damn so that's gonna be two hours worth of waiting for this stuff to dry <laughs> so let me go ahead and do the first coat and i got some other stuff i could do while i'm doing it so damn that's a lot oh my god it sprays so hard oh the can is broken are you serious Look at this. <laughs> That's bull. That is fucking bullshit. A little secret. Um, to use Plasti Dip. WD-40 gets rid of... Um, Brake cleaner works too, but I don't want to use brake cleaner on brand new paint, but WD-40 works really good to get rid of Plasti Dip. Because, I mean, it's only been a couple minutes, but it already is kind of gunked up. So, you see it's coming right off. So, I'm about to clean this again, but at least it's coming off. 
All right, got this clean again, so I have to start over. <laughs> I don't know what happened with this cap. It just, it just did that. that. That sucks. I don't know if it's this. I'm gonna take it off and see if maybe I can switch the cap with something. Well, I just went through all my spray paints over there, stuff I got for like household projects and stuff, and none of them have the same cap, so I can't swap the cap over. So it looks like I have to go buy another thing of plastic dip. That's annoying. It's like 15 bucks. All right. Fucking $19. God. Damn, bro. I don't remember that being that expensive. Well, I got the receipt now, so I'm gonna take the other one back. They don't know what can it was. All right, let's try this again. I'll spray something non-car related just to see if it does come out how it's supposed to, and it looks like it works now. Okay. I think we're good now. All right, first coat is on there. It started to do it again a little bit. I think it's the way I'm holding the can. I guess I'm used to like 360 degree cans where I can kind of go wherever, and this one doesn't really have that. So I just have to keep mindful to keep it upright. But for the most part, I mean, it's not going to look perfect. It's um, Plasti Dip. <laughs> and Plasti Dip, like I said, it dries together in 30 minute dry time. So, I mean, after a few coats, it'll look more like it's supposed to. But it's painted. Let's work on something else. All right, now this is something I wanted for a very, very long time. I've had this thing for months sitting in here in the garage and I was waiting to put it on. Um, I wanted one for Ebony a long time ago, a few years ago, and I didn't do it because Ebony has a spoiler on it and I thought it would look weird with a spoiler. So this car does not have a spoiler. So we're putting louvers. I wanted louvers forever, but finally got louvers. So we're gonna lay these louvers up here and I'm just gonna double side tape all the way around. And let's look at this bad boy right here. Bam. Ooh. Now that's hot boy. Like I always thought these look so sick on E36s, and especially because it does not have a spoiler. If I do get a spoiler, maybe a little fin, nothing crazy. But with the LTW wing, that match with the LTW wing, I've seen pictures, it doesn't look good. So I decided not to do it. So now I can do it. So that's definitely going to be a look I want and so let's go ahead and um go ahead and get this thing installed look it's got cobwebs that's how long I've had it <laughs> told you all this stuff has been sitting in here forever all right so I'm just gonna double side tape everything all the corners are flat so I can do double side tape can also do like a window sealant or something like that I don't know if I want to go that route because then it's definitely on there permanently so um it'll be hard to take off with especially with this much tape because if I go all the way around and put maybe double layers on the bottom it's a lot of tape and that's gonna hold so I'm just gonna literally just double side tape this is super thick like I got like the thickest double side tape I could find so it should definitely hold onto the window all right got the tape on there like I said this is this tape thick boy dumb thick so it should definitely hold <laughs> this is mad thick like I have less on my spoiler i mean i have bolts in my spoiler too but my spoiler does not move on ebony and this is even thicker stronger tape so with this much tape i don't think it's going to come off hopefully not if not if it does just have to hold that l so gotta find out where i'm gonna line it up probably tape it and then start pulling the stuff off but this is gonna look good i'm gonna like that i'm gonna love that I'm gonna love that. Still has overspray <laughs> from the flat black paint job the previous owner did. So I definitely need to get that off because it's not gonna stick well. If it's on there. That's a lot. I can sniff a line of that, boy. <laughs> Ooh. That's a lot. Yeah, there's no way it would have stuck that great to that. <laughs> that definitely would have came off. I could do it at the bottom, too. Look at that difference right there. Right in front of you. 
Oh look, it's a window again. All right, been doing that so long, it's been 30 minutes and it's ready for another coat. So you can already see after the first coat dried, it looks a whole lot better, it's a lot more even. And that's how Plasti Dip does work. If you ever use Plasti Dips, it does look really, really rough when it's wet and then it kind of dries together. Even that big spot, you can still kind of see it, but yeah, so Plasti Dip, it's not the best thing in the world, but it does work. And also another bonus is um, no prep work. You don't really have to do anything. You just have to make sure it's clean and um, you don't have to sand it, prime it, or anything like that. So you just spray directly on the paint and it'll come out. So let's go ahead and do the second coat. And wipe down with window cleaner again. It's probably the cleanest this window will ever be. So let's um, cover it up. All right, you guys should all know this trick by now. When you're ready to put uh, something 3M taped on, even though I didn't do it earlier in the video, <laughs> um, peel off a corner and that way you get it lined up to where you want. And then you just pull that tab and then it all comes off and you just push it on there. But as far as the moldings, that was a whole lot easier than this. So I got to make sure this thing is on there perfect and lined before I fully stick it. Pull the bottom off first. All right. Oh yeah, that is tight. Yeah, I ain't going nowhere. That ain't going nowhere. <laughs> that looks so good. Man, I wanted one of these forever. Well, I finally got louvers on an E36, boy. That looks really good. It looked better if I had new window seals. But I'm probably not buying those. Maybe I will one day. I'll put them on this car. Remember I did new window seals on this car, but these things are expensive. There's a lot. All the window seals in this car are new. But of course, I spent a little bit more money on this car than I do on this car. <laughs> but um, th that looks that looks really good. I really like that. I'm really, really hyped about that. That looks so sick. Holy shit. All right, this is really looking promising. I'm really liking this. This is really looking good. Front bumper is almost done. Two more coats. I'm done with the front bumper. Got my little JDM headlights not really JDM but it is kind of the style I'm going for with this car kind of JDM and I'll remember if I mentioned it they do make both sides um, I'll, again I'll try to link the eBay page or listing or who I got it from down in the description but they have a left and a right side you know right side intakes right here so that's kind of why it goes straight to the intake and they have one for this side too if you have a turbo if you have a turbo the turbos on this side so they have both sides and but yeah, I think it looks good. Got the JDM wheels on there. This is looking dope. I like this a lot. All right, I tried to clean these up best as I could, but they still have some flat black overspray on them. <laughs> so um, yeah, I might get some new ones later, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and just throw them on there. One side, two side. Officially a BMW again. All right, so this project is coming out pretty good so far. Um, I'm on my third spray on the bumper. Got one more spray to do, and I have another mod to do, um, but I need my mirrors. So someone's parting out a car soon today, and he's gonna bring me the mirrors, and then I can actually do that mod. I'll show you what the mod is, but I do have mirrors for this car, but they're M3 mirrors, and I don't really, I don't care for M3 mirrors that much. So I'm actually selling them listed them on my Instagram store for 150 bucks and I got like eight people trying to get them. So someone's coming very soon to buy them and these, these will be gone. They're cool, but I don't know. I just, they're just, I don't care that much for them. I'd rather sell them. And then the mod I'm going to do to them doesn't really work well with these. So let me show you what the next mod will be. So these are mirror. I don't know what you call them, but they go in your mirror and they just sit flat against the top of the mirror so that is this side and it just kind of goes like that and i think that's going to look real cool like i said it definitely has that jdm style and then 
it works better with these mirrors because they are flat and it kind of goes better with it the other mirrors they have a lot of curvature and it would be hard to do so these are plastic if you want to put bend them in place you just heat them up and then just bend them I haven't tried yet but i'm sure they'll do it and then i can just you know put a thin side of double sided tape right here and then just stick them up there and they'll just stay in place like that so that on both sides will look really good on that I haven't done it in a while, but I know you could take this mirror cap off. I think you just pull the mirror out and then I think there's like two bolts, two or three bolts that just hold this mirror cap on and you can actually just pull that off. And that way I can spray it easier than I can spray M3 mirrors. And I have the color for it. So this is GM's Bright Red, which translates the same paint code as Dodge Flame Red. So this is Flame Red and this is the same exact color. So when I put the mirror on there, it will match. It won't be two different reds. Well, at least, I hope not. <laughs> Alright, remember when I told you guys when I turn my wheel, now it just kind of rubs the inside and kind of knocks my body kit off? Well, I'm going to start chopping. So, I'm just going to literally just cut a nice line all the way down to the bottom. Looks like it's snowing. I probably need a mask on. <laughs> Look at my hand, yo. God. All right, while my Dremel charges, I'm going to go ahead and spray this last coat on the bumper. Um, for the last coat, you have to spray it really heavy and then immediately pull the tape off while it's wet. Otherwise, it will dry and stick to the tape. And when you pull the tape off, it'll peel like you're trying to peel the plastic dip. So I'm going to spray this last coat, but it does look really good at this color. So at this thickness. So the last coat will make it even look even a little bit better. So let's go ahead and do that and then see what this thing looks like without tape on it. That looks pretty official, yo. I actually like that. My line is straight. <laughs> That's what I was worried about, too. My line looks straight, but that actually looks like a bumper strip. You, know, you see what I'm saying? That was the whole plan. So once I get the bumper, you know, sitting up straight, it'll look better. I do have a little bit of overspray, but again, WD-40 will knock that out. There's some spots right there I guess I missed. And I did, like I said, when I was pulling the paint, you see it did kind of hit that little spot there. I'm going to leave it though. I'm not messing with it. So, but that looks good. That looks really good. It does look like a bumper strip. So I think it'll look really good when it's on the car. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry. The mirrors are sold. They just got picked up by the owner of this E30 M3. Super clean. Known each other for years. <laughs> Consignment shed days. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> All right, homie. All right, too easy. <laughs> All right, this is ugly, but it's functional. Like I said, um, this was all rubbing, so hopefully I'll cut away everything that was rubbing and it no longer rubs, because you can see that this thing was just rubbing all over, so hopefully it doesn't rub anymore, because like I said, it was rubbing and it was pulling the body kit and just making it really rough to drive and turn, so hopefully we'll be good now. Alright, I don't have the corner buttons in yet because I'm going to let it dry a little bit before I put it on top of that. But um, that's how it's going to look and that looks really good. <laughs> this thing looks crazy now. 
with the moldings on there. It looks like a regular car now. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And I think the red buttons do blend in a little bit too. So it's kind of cool. It does look a little funny because it's thin at the top. Kind of looks like it has a mustache. <laughs> Probably not going to be able to unsee that now. But I don't know. Maybe I'll add like a little stick on European license plate or something in the middle. I don't know. But that looks dope, man. That looks really dope. I really like how this came out. It, like I said, it, it, the color of this is that matte black and it looks just like the side moldings. Like it's on point. It looks like it's supposed to be like that. All right guys, well I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a video here. Um, it does really, really look good. I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really good. And um, other parts, you know, it's just, it's just gonna take too long. Um, the guy just picked up the car, the part out car. So he's gonna bring me the mirrors in a little bit, but it's gonna get dark soon. So by then I'm not gonna have time to actually do all that because I still have to take them apart and paint them. But this looks really good. The side moldings are done, the rear louvers are done, the front bumper is done, got the headlight in there, not bolted, I'm gonna get some bolts from him too, so. But that looks really good. New grills, the red buttons look good, they blend in. This looks, this looks dope. I like this a lot, so. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Um, I still have to cut the other side of the side skirt. I'll do that another day too. I'm not driving it right now. Then I'll do mirrors and let me show you what my last idea is that I'm gonna have to sleep on because I'm not 100% sure. All right, so this is the last thing I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you like a test fit so you can kind of see. Um, hood vents. I bought hood vents, carbon fiber hood vents. They're super cheap. They're like Amazon for 30 bucks. I actually bought these for Ebony a um, long time ago because I wanted to put a vent on the turbo side, but these are plastic and then I thought about it and like, it's gonna be a waste of time because as soon as the turbo gets hot, this shit is gonna melt. So I never did anything with them. I just put them back in the garage and I was going through the garage and I found stuff. I'm like, hey, maybe I can put them on here. So I'm gonna lay them on the hood, how I think they would look. And again, I'm gonna sleep on them. I'm not gonna do it today. Maybe I'll do it in the next video, but I think it'll look kind of cool. So if I line them up, like right on this outside line of the hood, that would look pretty dope. I think it would look pretty dope. But the reason I haven't really decided, I do like the look. I do want hood vents. I think hood vents will be sick. But I don't know if I want these hood vents. I don't know if I want these or want to get a different kind. And the issue is, once you cut them, you can't go back. So if I cut them for this and then I decide to do a different hood vent in the future and the hole's too big or not big, and well, if it's not big enough, I can make it bigger. But if the hole's too big or a different shape than another hood vent, then I'm kind of stuck with these. So that's why I haven't really done it yet. That's why I'm thinking about it, but I don't know. Looking at it over and over again, I really like it. I think I might do it. Again, if I do it, I'll do it on the next video, but just something to think about. It gives it an aggressive look. Carbon fiber always looks good anyways. And um, yeah, so that's, that's what's on my mind right now. So yeah, I think it's going to do it for this video. Um, I'm going to ponder on this idea for a little bit. I'm really liking the look of it right now. I kind of want to just go ahead and send it. I'm not because it's about to get dark, but I think I will definitely do this. It does really look good now that I'm like, the more and more I look at it, the more and more I want to do it. So I'll probably use these hood scoops. I think they'll look dope. And if I do want to change hood scoops, I'll just have to find bigger hood scoops. <laughs> and that way I can just cut those same holes, but um, don't want to buy a new hood, but this looks really good. So I'm happy with how this is turning out. This is looking really cool. Like I said, this is all planned in my head and I always execute on what's planned in my head and it's looking really, really dope. So that's gonna do it for this video. Deuces, I will see you guys in the next one. I'm possibly cutting my hood.